Washington President Trump paid tribute on Tuesday to the airline passengers and crew members who stormed the cockpit of a hijacked plane and thwarted terrorists in the skies over Pennsylvania on SE. December 11, 2001, vowing to follow their example by standing up to evil in the world. In his first trip to Shanksville, PA. As President, Mr. Trump led a ceremony marking the 17th anniversary of the terrorist attacks by honoring the heroes who brought down United Airlines Flight 93 into an unpopulated field rather than allow it to be used as a weapon against the nation's capital. We remember the moment when America fought back, Mr. Trump said in a televised address at the Flight 93 National Memorial at the site of the crash, which killed 40 passengers and crew members. Referring to those on board who rose up that day in an effort to take back the plane, he said, they boarded the planes as strangers and they entered eternity linked together as true heroes. Ceremonies were also held on Tuesday in New York where two hijacked planes slammed into the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center, and at the Pentagon, where another plane was used to attack the headquarters of the American military. Vice President Mike Pence and Defense Secretary Jim Mattis led the commemoration at the Pentagon. In New York, police officers gathered at the Midtown North Precinct where flags were lowered to half-staff and names were read of colleagues who were lost rushing into buildings trying to save lives. Never miss a chance to let those held dearest know your love for them, the precinct said on its Twitter feed, using a heart symbol for the word love. Mr. Trump was at Trump Tower on the day of the attack, not far from the World Trade Center. He famously claimed during his presidential campaign that thousands and thousands of people were cheering in Muslim communities in Jersey City, New Jersey, when the World Trade Center collapsed, an assertion that has been widely debunked. As he traveled to Pennsylvania on Tuesday, Mr. Trump offered praise for Rudolph W. Giuliani, who was the mayor of New York on the day of attacks and now serves as his personal attorney. Rudy Giuliani did a great job as mayor of NYC during the period of September 11 th, Mr. Trump wrote on Twitter. His leadership, bravery, and skill must never be forgotten. Rudy is a true warrior. Mr. Trump made no mention of former President George W. Bush or other political leaders from that day. Arriving at John Murtha Johnstown Cambria County Airport not far from the site of the Shanksville crash, Mr. Trump greeted supporters with a double fist pump, an image captured by news photographers and shared on social media, where it generated criticism of the president for seeming less than solemn.